Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. The lecture I'm going to deliver today is about anti-neoplastic agents or the anti-cancer drugs. But before we start, what are anti-neoplastic or anti-cancer agents or drugs? I should I would like to uh, explain what is cancer and how it is caused. You should know what is a normal cell cycle and we should know what happens when uh, cancer produces or cancer started starts and at what phase it should be um, suppressed or controlled. Cancer is a chronic disease and it ranks in top three leading causes of death worldwide. In the development of cancer treatment, natural and synthetic compounds have been explored for their cytotoxicity. Many food and drug administration approved anti-cancer drugs such as Pectetix, uh, Pectetexel, Vincristine, Vinblastine, and Bortezomib. Uh, uh, Zomib, a derivative of natural compounds sources from various plants. And we have studied majority of these compounds in um, pharmacognosy lectures and pharmacognosy uh, classes. Consequently, more natural compounds have been discovered and reported for their anti-cancer activities, such as epipodophyllotoxin uh, derivatives, Mitensine, brucientin, thelicarpin, camptothecan, and lapocol. Furthermore, modification of these compounds has proven to be more effective in minimizing side effects and targeting other oncogenic phenotypes such as metastasis. We are uh, constantly changing the structure of the compound we have isolated because they, they do possess the, the compounds, do possess the anti-cancer property, but we uh, have seen that there certain time they are very toxic. And we all know that the anti-cancer or the chemotherapy is quite um, hard for patients to um, tolerate because of its nature and because of its mode, mode of action. Because right now we only have uh, the type of mode of action, which not only kills the um, cancerous cell, but they also uh, affects the normal cell cycle. That's why all the uh, drugs which are uh, in anti-cancer, uh, those which are anti-cancer drugs, they, they uh, are constantly study to minimize its side effects and how we are going to minimize of course by studying the structure and producing changes in the uh, effective parts of the structure we all know that every part is not effective certain times there are certain uh, functional groups which are more important and which should be present and you, you cannot uh, change that but certain times you can uh, what is um, metastatus? This I all will, all, I will also discuss. An important hallmark of cancer progression, metastasis is a complex cascade of events that involves separation of cancer cells from the primary tumor followed by intravasion, extravasion, and the eventual formation of secondary tumors. Metastasis important factor here which should not be neglected while we study anti-cancer drugs or why we research for new anti-cancer drug because metastasis is very common. Metastasis is basically complex cascade of events say complex events ki event hota hai jiski cancer cell hai wo jo hai 
دوسرے جو ہے وہ آرگنس کو افیکٹ کر رہا ہوتا ہے وہ کس طرح سے کر رہا ہوتا ہے کہ سرٹن ٹائمس انٹروویژن انٹرا ویزیٹیشن ہوتی ہے مینس یہ کہ سرٹن ٹائمس دی کینسر سیل کمز آؤٹ فروم دارٹ وچ از وچ ہیز وچ از کینسر اینڈ اٹ گوز ان ٹو دا بلڈ ویسلس ویئر اٹ از سرکولیٹڈ اینڈ اٹ کین گوز ٹو اینی پارٹ آف دا دا باڈی اینڈ ویئر اٹ کین پروڈیوس اسٹارٹ پروڈیوسنگ دی کینسر اور سرٹن ٹائمس دیر از ایکسٹراویزیشن مینس دس دا uh cancer cells are not going into the blood vessels but they are kind of perforating in the surrounding areas or in the surroundings of the um, organ or whatever part it is and it is causing the causing cancer of that part as well but uh, and the eventual formation of secondary tumors which eventually form secondary tumors due to the high mortality rate in cancer caused by metastasis the development of anti metastatic uh, drugs has become a new aim in modern cancer therapy as i've told you that this is you know a, a kind of emerging uh, problem so there are uh, developments for the anti uh, metastatic drugs uh, which should which are uh, becoming uh, a new aim in investigating modern cancer therapy what is metastasis metastasis means that cancer spread to different body parts from where it started metastasis is the spread of cancer cells to new areas of the body often by the way of limb system or blood stream that i that i told you what is intra vegetation a metastatic cancer or metastatic tumor is one that has spread from primary site of origin or where it started into different areas of the body but there are, there are certain things which should be kept in mind regarding metastatic cancer which is when observed under a microscope and tested in other ways metastatic cancer cells have features like that of the primary cancer means that wherever part the cancer it has been produced like if the if it is produced in breast so if the breast cancer has metastasized into other organs say lungs or kidney the cancer uh, which you will found there is will be just like the cancer uh, in the primary cancer disease that is the breast cancer means they both will look alike and not uh, like the um, cancer where it it has gone to where it it has traveled to یعنی کہ اگر بریسٹ میں ہے اور بریسٹ سے کڈنیز میں چلا گیا ہے تو کڈنیز کے اندر چونکہ سیلز آر ڈفرینٹ لیکن کڈنیز کا جو بریسٹ جو اس کے اندر جو آپ کو کینسر سیلز ملیں گے دے ول ریزمبل دی بریسٹ کینسرز اور اس کی طرح کے ڈفرینٹ نہیں ہو جائیں گے جیسے کہ کڈنی کے اندر ہوگا تو دیٹ اسی طرح سے پتہ لگتا ہے ڈاکٹرس کو کہ ہاؤ فروم ویئر دا میٹر اسٹیٹس آف کینسر ہیز ہیپنڈ اور یا تو یہ خود سے نیا کینسر پروڈیوس ہوئے یا یہ اسی کینسر کا پارٹ ہے تو دین مینس کہ یو یو ول نو دی فزیولوجی آف دا کینسر ناؤ یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ٹریٹ دیٹ کینسر ایز ویل ود دا سیم اور سیم کائنڈ آف رجیم وچ یو یوزنگ فرام فار دی primary cause of the cancer okay this is how doctors can tell that it is cancer that has spread from one another part of the body metastatic uh, static cancer has the same name as the primary cancer or jab isko kaha jata hai usko same name hi se hi kaha jata hai for example breast cancer that spread spread to the lungs is called metastatic breast cancer not lung cancer it is treated as a stage 4 breast cancer not as lung cancer okay now we will see the um, normal phase of the cell cycle uh, which we can say we can we can um, um, very um, shortly or briefly we can say that it is composed of two phases basically uh, four phases sorry g1 and g0 is somewhat uh, in, in uh, after g1 it is uh, in basically g1 phase but uh, it's uh, another phase as well but an s phase g2 phase and m phase m phase is basically mitotic phase while g1 is the growth and normal metabolic role 
happens in G1, while in S phase, which is also called, uh, uh, it is called the static phase, basically, it is, it, in this uh, DNA is replicating, while the G2 phase growth and preparation for mitosis takes place, and a new cell forms, basically. G1 phase, gap one, cell grows in size and prepare to copy its DNA in response to various growth factors. ये भी अभी मैं डिस्कस करूंगी कि ये जो जो साइकिल होता है इसको स्टिमुलाई प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए टू स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप देयर आर सर्टेन ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर नेसेसरी व्हिच शुड बी प्रेजेंट टू अदर व्हाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग बिकॉज़ वी शुड नो हाउ द नॉर्मल सेल साइकिल इज अकरिंग एंड व्हाट हैपेंस दैट व्हाई कैंसर सेल प्रोड्यूस ठीक है जीवन फेज में सेल ग्रो हो रहा है एस फेज इज सिंथेसिस बेसिकली रेप्लिकेशन ऑफ डीएनए कॉपिंग एंड क्रोमोसोम्स ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम्स जी टू फेज इज प्रिपरेशन फॉर द सेल डिविजन चेकिंग चेक्ड कॉपी डीएनए एंड रिपेयर डैमेज कॉपीज ये भी बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है जो कि ऑलवेज नहीं होता यहाँ से स्टार्ट हो जाता है कि जब आपका डीएनए जब बॉडी डिटेक्ट ही नहीं कर पाती कि डीएनए जो है वो नॉर्मल है कि नहीं है उसमें डैमेज तो नहीं है तब तो भी कैंसर कैंसर जो है वो प्रोड्यूस होना शुरू होता है द लास्ट इज एम फेज दैट इज माइटोसिस फेज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द माइटोटिक स्पिंडल एंड सेपरेशन इन टू इंडिविजुअल सेल्स इन्हीं फेजेस को देखते हुए जो जो ड्रग है वो भी आपकी वो डिवाइस हुई है बनाई गई है इन फेजेस को देखते हुए वो इन फेजेस को स्टॉप करते हैं बेसिकली ठीक है कंट्रोल ऑफ सेल साइकिल प्रोग्रेशन बाय सी टी के वॉट आर सी टी के साइकिलिंग साइकिलिंग डिपेंडेंट काइनेजेस दीज काइनेजेस बेसिकली आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर दिस होल फेजेस दिस इज काइंड ऑफ यू नो इट्स स्टिमुलाई और यू कैन से दिस इज वॉट एन ऑर्डर विच फ्रॉम विच दिस दिस साइकिल है दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ ऑर्डर विच बॉडी गिव्स टू द साइकिल दैट बॉडी गिव्स दैट स्टार्ट दी दिस साइकिल एंड देर न्यूमरस साइकिल आर इन्वॉल्व इन ऑल दीज फेजेस बाइंडिंग ऑफ साइकिल विद इट्स एसोसिएटेड काइनेजेस फिगर्स टू मूव द सेल साइकिल टू अनदर फेज in one cycle say another cycle inhibitory proteins are present that can modify the effect of cyclins these included p15 and p16 that block activity of the cyclin dcdk complexes ab aap ye dekho ki kitna important hai ye stimuli wo bhi hain jo ki start karti hain cycle lekin ab kyunki ye stimuli is there to isliye isko stop karne ke liye there must be a counter stimuli और वो जो है होता है विद इन पी फिफ्टीन और पी सिक्सटीन दे आर एंजाइम्स जो कि इसको इनहिबिटरी प्रोटीन होती हैं जो कि इसको इनको रोकती हैं अनदर रेगुलेटर इज पी ट्वेंटी वन दैट इज कंट्रोल बाय द ट्यूमर सप्रेसर प्रोटीन पी फिफ्टी थ्री सर्टन टाइम्स कैंसर इसी से प्रोड्यूस हो जाता है कि ये जो ट्यूमर सप्रेसर प्रोटीन होती है दैट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट या ये नहीं बन होती है तो इसकी वजह से भी ट्यूमर प्रोड्यूस होता है Over active cyclin or CDKs have been associated with many tumors. Excessive production of cyclins or CDKs or insufficient production of CDK inhibitors leads to disruption of the normal regulation of the cell cycle. अब आप बात समझ में आ गई होगी कि this how this is important because certain times they are overactive, certain times they they are excessively produced, and certain times the इनिबिटर्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट ठीक है उनकी वजह से जो है नॉर्मल सेल साइकिल नहीं होता है कैंसर प्रोड्यूस होते हैं अच्छा ये एक थोड़ा सा फॉर यू फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए वॉट इज नेक्रोसिस एंड वॉट इज अपोसिस बिकॉज दीज टू आर ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन दोडक्शन ऑफ कैंसर नेक्रोसिस क्या है नेक्रोसिस इज बेसिकली अनकंट्रोल्ड सेल डेथ होती है यानी कि जब एप्टोसिस होता है ना उसमें तो सेल डेथ होती है लेकिन साथ साथ फेगोसाइटोसिस भी हो रहा होता है और वो जो सेल जो मर जाता है जो डिब्री होता है उसको टेक अवे हो जाता है लेकिन जो नेक्रोसिस होता है ना उसमें ये फेगोसाइटोसिस वाला प्रोसेस नहीं होता और ये जो है ये जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर इन्फ्लेमेशन के तौर पर अगर कहीं हो रहा है तो ये स्प्रेड अप होना शुरू हो जाता है ठीक है वाइल एपोप्टोसिस जो है वो प्रोग्राम डेथ होती है जैसे कहना चाहिए कि इट्स प्रोग्राम डेथ तो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड होता है 
और अनकंट्रोल नहीं होता ओके एक और चीज जो बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है वो होते हैं टीलोमर्स टीलोमर्स क्या होते हैं बेसिकली कैंसर सेल्स आर ऑफन कॉल्ड इमोटल सिंस देयर देयर सीम्स टू बी नो लिमिट फॉर हाउ दे कैन डिवाइड नॉर्मल सेल की जो है ना एक खास टाइम्स जो है वो डिवीजन हो सकता है यानी अनलिमिटेड डिवीजन नहीं होता नॉर्मल सेल्स का देर मतलब वो कभी ना कभी मतलब उनको मरना खत्म होना होता है दे आर प्रोग्राम टू डाई बट द कैंसर सेल्स ना दे कैन डिवाइड दे हैव नो लिमिट फॉर डिवीजन लाइफ टाइम ऑफ नॉर्मल सेल इज लिमिटेड टू फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी सेल डिविजन यूजली नॉर्मल सेल जो है वो फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी सेल डिविजन में होता है दिस इज रेगुलेटेड बाई टीलोमर्स The telomeres are at the three end of the chromosomes. After each replication, about fifty to hundred base pairs are lost. ये at the end of the chromosomes होते हैं और उसमें क्या होता है कि जब भी जिस तरह भी जब भी होता है तो about fifty to hundred base pairs जो है वो उसके lose हो जाते हैं. At some point, telomeres are too short to be effective, and the DNA becomes unstable, thereby limiting replication. Okay, so one time happens that it is so short that it cannot replicate. Cancer cell possesses an enzyme called telomerase, which maintains the length of the telomeres and thereby allows more DNA replication. So, now you can see that if you are able to control these telomeres. No, आप उसको कैंसर को रेप्लीकेट होने से रोक सकते हैं ठीक है ओके सेलुलर पाथवे ऑफ मेलेग्नेंसी हाउ मेलेग्नेंसी इज कॉस्ड और यू कैन से फैक्टर्स टू रेगुलेट साइकिल फॉर सेल डिविजन करेक्टली ओके बिफोर सेल डिवाइड डीएनए इज चेक्ड बेसिकली डीएनए जो है उसको चेक किया जाता है टू मेक श्योर दैट इट हैज रेप्लीकेटेड करेक्टली व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन डीएनए डज नॉट रेप्लीकेट करेक्टली नहीं होती जब वो डीएनए रेप्लीकेट तो क्या होता है जीन म्यूटेशन अगर हो जाती है देयर आर रेगुलेटेड बाय केमिकल सिग्नल्स ये जो होती है ना डीएनए रेप्लीकेशन ये समझे आपके ये एक केमिकल uh, सिग्नल्स के जरिए होती है जिसके जरिए वो कहते हैं कि यस यू कैन स्टार्ट रेप्लीकेटिंग एंड नो यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट रेप्लीकेटिंग बिकॉज द डीएनए इज नॉट गुड नेबरिंग सेल्स भी इस सारे प्रोसेस का हिस्सा होते हैं कैंसर जो है वो बेसिकली सेल साइकिल का डिजीज है तो जो जब uh, किसी की बॉडी सेल डिवीजन बना करने लगे अनकंट्रोलेबली तो इसको जो है वो कहते हैं ट्यूमर कॉज करता है वो इफ डीएनए म्यूट्रेशन अकर्स इट डिस्ट्रप सेल साइकिल डीएनए म्यूट्रेशन कैसे कैसे अकर होती है अब जैसे इस चार्ट में भी मैं आपको बता रही हूं कि नॉर्मल सेल तो होता है ठीक है लेकिन एनवायरमेंट में देर आर सर्टन फैक्टर्स विच यू नो विच डैमेज द डीएनए What are those factors? These are radiation, smoking, pollutants, chemicals, viruses. These are the things which are there, which damage the normal DNA. And अगर ये नहीं हो तो successful जो है वो normal cell cycle नहीं होता. But certain times DNA damage अगर produce भी हो जाता है तो वो repair भी किया कर body करती है and then दोबारा से normal cell cycle चलता है. But if the body Is uh, failed to repair DNA, जो कि इस वजह से भी हो सकता है क्योंकि आपके पास inherited uh, sorry जो जो cancer uh, patients होते हैं उनके अंदर जो है वो effect uh, जो gene है वो uh, जो repair की है वो ही uh, proper नहीं है या uh, जो है वो growth के वक्त जो है वो uh, उसको effect किया है तो उस वक्त क्या होगा mutation start हो जाएगी ठीक है म्यूटेशन जो स्टार्ट हो जाएगी उसकी जो जो शोइंग होगी या उसको किस तरह से आप डिटेक्ट कर सकते हैं या किस तरह से पता लगता है एक्टिवेशन ऑफ ग्रोथ प्रमोटिंग ऑनकोजेनेसिस अल्टरेशन ऑफ जीन्स दैट रेगुलेट अपोप्टोसिस इन एक्टिवेशन ऑफ कैंसर सप्रेशन जीन इन एक्टिवेशन ऑफ कैंसर सप्रेशन जीन हो जाती है अल्टरेशन हो जाती है जीन के अंदर 
और एक्टिवेशन हो जाती है ग्रोथ प्रमोटिंग ऑनकोजेनेसिस के अंदर दीज ऑल फैक्टर्स में सिंगली और कंबाइन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ एल्टर जीन प्रोडक्ट्स एंड लॉस ऑफ रेगुलेटरी जीन प्रोडक्ट्स व्हिच अल्टीमेटली कॉजेस द मेलिग्नेंट न्यूप्लाज्म तो होता क्या है कि नॉर्मल सेल्स विल स्टॉप डिवाइडिंग इफ देयर इज अ म्यूटेशन इन डीएनए cancer cells will continue to divide even with mutation due to dna mutation the cells ignore the signals of start and stop as i have told you and also they can communicate the neighboring cells and continue to grow to, to form a form tumors cancer cell treatment ke andar jo hai wo drugs hoti hain jo ke hum jinhe kahen ke jo to start and stop the uh, cancers cancer from growing okay this is a short summary of the uh, uh, many chemotherapeutic agents which are used and aapko kyunki ek normal cell cycle mein aapko samjha rahi hu ki normal cell cycle ke saath jo hai wo different mode of uh, action jo hai wo involve hai different drugs ke ab aap ye dekhein ki pehle jo hai wo purine and pyrimidine एक्शन uh the the cycle yeah different uh parts of the cycle yeah pro processes jaise ki six mercaptopurine hai six thiogenin ya methotrexate ye kya karti hai inhibit karti hai purine ring synthesis ko which is again important for the basically kya hai ye pehle hi jo uh, cycle hai jo uh, g1 phase hai wahi pe jo hai na isko stop kar deti hai फिर हाइड्रोक्सी यूरिया हाइड्रोक्सी यूरियाफिक जो है वो रिडक्टेज पे काम करती है मीथोट्रेक्सेड इन फाइव फ्लोरो इट इन इनबिट डी टी एम डी टी एम पी दिस डी टी एम पी इज बेसिकली this is a uh, synthetase i'll tell you later i think i'll explain it to you later i've written somewhere but i cannot find it this is um um synthetase which is uh, important in uh, 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 in the um replication or in the formation of ribonucleic acid okay citrobrine it inhibits dns dna synthesis synthesis bleomycin it uh, and uh, certain times these uh, doxorubicin denorubicin dactinomycin these are antibiotics which are used and they are used for the and they what do they do their succession of dna they inhibit that they inculcate dna they cross link dna dna ki jab yahan pe replication ho rahi hoti hai wahan ja ke act karti hai theek hai alkylating agents nitroso nitroso urea cisplatin they uh, jab cross linking ho rahi hoti hai dna ki tab usko inhibit kar rahi hoti hai l aspergillin basically it prot inhibit protein synthesis bilevenka alkaloids pectilatex and colchicin they inhibit microtubule function which are uh, microtubules which are important for protein protein tyro uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor it blocks the activity of enzymes antineoplastic agents are also traditionally divided by their origin or mechanism of action abhi to humne ek general overview liya tha now i will tell you the uh, traditionally how we basically classify antineoplastic drugs the main groups include are alkylating and alkyl alkylating like agents anti metabolites anti tumor antibiotics plant alkaloids miscellaneous agents and hormonal agents 
what are alkylating agents alkylating agents interfere with dna replication by cross linking dna strands dna strand breaking and abnormal pairing of base pairs they exert their lethal effect on cells throughout the cell cycle but tend to be more effective against rapidly dividing cells because alkylating agents are active against cells in geo that is the uh, uh, phase geophase they can be used to debulk tumor causing resting cells to be recruited into active division kyunki uh, ye kya karte hain dna ke replication ko rokte hain to ye aise cell cycles jo ke ye effective hai aise cancers pe jo bahut rapidly grow ho raha ho na to uske upar ye act karta hai ज्यादा अच्छे तरीके से करते हैं तो वहां हल्का यूज किए जाते हैं ओके दीज एजेंट्स आर एक्टिव अगेंस्ट लिम्फोमास हॉचकिन डिजीज ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एंड मल्टीपल माइलोमा सेकेंड आर एंटी मेटाबोलाइट एंटी मेटाबोलाइट क्या करते हैं इंटरफेयर करते हैं विद डीएनए एन आर एन सिंथेसिस बाय एक्टिंग एज फॉल्स मेटाबोलाइट दे एक्ट एज फॉल्स मेटाबोलाइट विच आर इनकॉपरेटेड इन टू डी एन or block essential enzymes so that dna synthesis is prevented most agents are cell cycle phase specific or s phase uh, for s phase ke liye they are mostly jo hai ye s phase ke andar jo hai wo cell specific hote hain these agents are most effective when used against rapid uh, rapidly cycling cell population and are consequently more effective against fast growing tumors than slow growing tumors major toxicities occur in hematopoietic and gastrointestinal system examples include methotrexate fluorouracil and cytosine arabinoside and next is anti tumor antibiotics also called anthracyclines interfere with rna and dna synthesis most drugs are cell cycle non specific they are in cell cycle non specific major toxicities occur in hematopoietic gastrointestinal cardiac and reproductive system cardiac toxicity may be manifested manifested as acute changes in the electrocardiogram carograph and arrhythmias individuals with pre existing heart diseases are most at risk example include bleomycin donorubicin and doxorubicin now plant alkaloids plant alkaloids bind to microtubules proteins during metaphase metaphase ke darmiyan jo jab microtubules bante hain ye plant alkaloids udhar ja ke bind karte hain jiski wajah se mitotic arrest ho jata hai aur replication ya uski division mitotic spindle ki jo hoti hai wo khatam wo nahi ho pati the cell cannot divide and dies this group is mainly cell cycle phase specific for m phase this is for m phase major toxicities occur in hematopoietic integumentary um, integumentary neurologic and reproductive system hypersensitivity reaction also may occur during administration of these agents this group contains three subgroups these are the vinca alkaloids that these are vincristine and vinblastine the epipide or podophyllotoxins that is atoposide and teniposide and the te uh, texanes that is pexilate uh, pexi um, pexli texel and docetaxel there are other certain miscellaneous agents uh differ from any other major class of cytotoxic agents common miscellaneous agents are aspergenase and hypo hydroxyurea topo isomerase inhibitors prevent relaining uh, relaining of dna strands and maintain single strand breaks major toxicities is occur in uh, are the hepatopoietic and gastrointestinal system example includes arenotecan and topotecan there are certain uh, hormonal agents that also are important in the treatment hormonal agents alter karte hain kisko the internal and extra cellular environment most agents are cell cycle phase non specific breast thyroid prostate and uterine cancers are example of tumors that are sensitive to hormonal manipulation these are uh, because these are 
sensitive to hormonal manipulation. So they are best treated with hormonal agents. With these diseases, the action of hormones or hormone antagonists depends on the presence of hormone receptor in the tumor themselves. This may a specificity is that in tumor, ke andar bhi, if they have that hormone receptor, then it can work in the tumor themselves. That is estrogen receptor in breast cancer and estrogen receptor in uterus cancer. Mein bhi jo hai na, ye dono ke andar hota hai. Hai? There are individual classification or hormonal agents. Adenocorticoids, prednisone is an example. Hai. Androgens. Iski testosterone, propionate, estrogen, iske under dye, ethyl still bestrol, selective estrogen receptor modulator, tamoxifen citrate, selective aromatase inhibitor is anestrozole, progestron, that is megastrol acetate, while uh, and the testosterone is flutamide. Major toxicities occur in gastrointestinal sexual reproductive system and mood and sleep pattern changes. Now we will discuss some of the drugs. Uh, we will discuss the drug tamoxifen. Okay. Basically tamoxifen hai kya? Tamoxifen is basically It is uh, anti-cancer drug and it absorbs uh, absorbs uh, while after taking oral uh, tablet and the Dmax is achieved around after five hours. It goes to first pass metabolism, it goes to uh, GI and um, it goes to liver as well, where the uh, CYP enzyme in liver, it metabolizes. It's after absorption, the uh, extensive metabolism follow absorption. Following absorption is basically uh, demethylation, hoti hai, iski hydroxylation bhi hoti hai, or conjugation. Bhi hoti hai. And uske, uh, bina pe, there are different metabolites which are formed, which are basically active metabolites. Okay? For excretion, uh, it is excreted in biliary uh, by and in uh, through renal root and through polar conjugates. Polar conjugates, there are 70 percent they, they are uh, excreted as polar conjugates, while um, 65 percent is uh, excreted through biliary excretion, while uh, through one percent only it excreted through renal root. Tamoxifen Kiski class may ata hai basically hormonal candera. Tika will be hormonal be conti. Tamoxifen is under a class of selective estrogen receptor modulator. Serm candera. Yes, selective estrogen receptor modulator. The most important drug worldwide for hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Selective estrogen receptor modulator called SERMs for short block the effect of estrogen in the breast tissue. SERMs work by sitting in the estrogen receptor in the breast cell. SERMs kis tarah se kar hai ke breast cell cell ke andar breast ke andar receptors jo hote hain usko ja ke ye occupy karte hain uh, specifically aur usko in turn uski wajah se jo hai wo aapki uh, breasts uh, ke jo wo replicate karna band karte hain aur is tarah se wo khatam hona shuru ho jate hain cells selective estrogen receptor modulator serums a drug that target estrogen receptors in specific tissues how tamoxifen works antagonists in breast and brain they are antagonists in breast and brain no transcription cell growth arrest ho jati apoptosis while they are agonist in lungs liver bone and uterus and it creates normal function. Tamoxifen itself is a product having relatively little affinity for its target protein, the estrogen receptor. 
यानी कि ये खुद एक प्रोडक है जब इसका जो मेटाबोलाइज हो जाती है ना उसके बाद ये बेसिकली जो है सही अपने फॉर्म में आती है तो इट्स अ प्रोडक्ट बेसिकली इट इज मेटाबोलाइज इन द लिवर बाय साइटोक्रोम पी फिफ्टी फोर आइसोफॉम सी वाई पी टू डी सिक्स एंड सी वाई पी थ्री फोर ए फोर ये इसको आपको बेसिकली याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है दे टर्न ए दम इन टू एन एक्टिव मेटाबोलाइट कौन कौन से होते हैं फोर हाइड्रोक्सी टमोक्सीफिन एंड डी डिस्मिथाइल फोर हाइड्रोक्सी टमोक्सीफिन विच हैव almost 3 to 100 times more affinity with the estrogen receptor than tamoxifen itself these active metabolites compete with estrogen in the body for binding to the estrogen receptor these metabolites compete karta hai with estrogen jo natural estrogen hai usko jo hai usse sa compete karta hai in breast tissues four hydroxy tamoxifen act as an estrogen receptor antagonist so that the transcription of estrogen response Responsive gene is inhibited in breast tissue. Four hydroxy tamoxifen acts as a as an estrogen receptor antagonist, so that the transcription of estrogen responsive gene is inhibited. Four hydroxy tamoxifen binds to estrogen estrogen receptor. That the ER tamoxifen complex recruits other proteins known as core repressors and then binds to DNA to modulate gene expression. Four-hydroxytamoxifen binds to estrogen receptor competitively with respect to the endogenous uh, agonist estrogen in tumor cells and other tissue targets, producing a nuclear complex that decreases DNA synthesis and inhibits estrogen effects. It is a non-steroidal agent with potent anti-estrogenic properties, which competes with estrogen for binding sites in breast and other tissues. दिस इज एस्ट्रोजन तो आपको पता है दिस इज बेसिकली स्टेरॉयडल नेचर का होता है बट ये जो होते हैं ये नॉन स्टेरॉयडल नेचर के होते हैं टोमोक्सिफिन कॉजेज सेल्स टू रिमेन इन जियो एन जी वन फेज ऑफ द सेल साइकिल बिकॉज इट प्रिवेंट्स प्री कैंसर सेल्स फ्रॉम डिवाइडिंग बट डज नॉट कॉज सेल डेथ टोमोक्सिफिन इज साइटोस्टैटिक राधर दैन साइटोसाइडल मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन को एक दफा वो कर लेते हैं टोमोक्सिफिन क्या करती है कंपेटिटिवली इनिबिट करती है द बाइंडिंग ऑफ एस्ट्रोजन टू इट्स रिसेप्टर दिस इनहिबिशन इज मेन कॉज फॉर द एक्टिविटी अगेंस्ट द ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सेल्स ट्यूमर ग्रोथ फैक्टर अल्फा एंड इंसुलिन लाइक ग्रोथ फैक्टर 1 इज डिक्रीज बाय टोमोक्सिफिन द लेवल ऑफ सेक्स हार्मोन बाइंडिंग ग्लोबुलिन इज इंक्रीज बाय टोमोक्सिफिन This overall limits the level of freely available estradiol, which further reduces the level of factors which stimulate the tumor growth. Tamoxifen also inhibits the protein kinase C, which results in the apoptosis of estrogen receptor positive cells. Now, the little structure relation, uh, structure activity relationship. This is the structure of tamoxifen. The uh, part which is you know uh, in between these three uh, um rings this is also very specific and the length of these bonds are also very specific if you change the length of these bonds the uh, these bonds then uh, the binding may not be uh, may not occur okay so the affinity will die uh, if you'll see this part the tamoxifen this this part this where there is a nitro group the affinity will die down if one or two methyl groups or the whole side chain cut off or d methyl amino replaced by hydroxyl group agar iski jagah ko hydroxyl group aa jaye to aapki affinity jo hai wo die out ho jayegi replaced by methyls simultaneously will cut down the affinity while in this area two hydroxyl groups can increase the affinity to the receptor agar yahan pe hydroxyl group laga diye jaye to wo affinity increase kar dete hain methyl fluorine or chlorine groups will not change affinity jo ki hum samajhte hain usually because they are more electronegative to usse electronegative se affinity increase hoti hai receptor ke sath but yahan pe agar aap lagayenge to nahi koi fark padta hai hydroxyl can increase the affinity while its methyl esters has lower affinity 
Next drug, uh, drug is fluorouracil. 5-fluorouracil, first introduced as a rationally synthesized anti-cancer agent 30 years ago. 30 years ago, jo hai, wasko basically, jo hai, ek, ek rational drug design ke pe, jo hai na, wo, uh, market kiya gaya tha. Continu continue to be wide used widely in the management of several common, common malignancies, including cancers of the colon, breast, and skin. The, this drug, an analog of the naturally occurring pyrimidine, uracil, is metabolized via the same metabolic pathway as uracil. Although several potential sites of anti-tumor activity have been identified, the precise mechanism of action and the extent to which each of these sites contribute, contributes to tumor or host cell toxicity remains unclear. Ye basically competitive inhibitor uh, hogi basically 5-fluorouracil. Iski jo uh, wo hai wo competitive inhibition se basically hogi hai. Uh, iski jo mode of action hai. 5-fluorouracil is one of only a few clinically useful anti-neoplastic drugs that have been rationally designed on the basis of knowledge of tumor biochemistry. Basically, tumor biochemistry ko dekhte ve rationally ye produce ki gai ke isko is tarike ka banaya gaya ke wo uh, uske liye uh, use ki jati hai. To isko uh, rational drug design ki badi achi example hai ye. Experimental studies had demonstrated that certain tumors and um, uh, rat heptomas utilize exogenous uracil more avidly than healthy tissues. Kuch experimental studies saamne aayi thi, jis mein ye saamne aaya tha ke jo, uh, jo heptomas te na, jo ke create kiya gaya te, o jo hai exogenous uracil ko zaata achche tarike se use kare as compared to healthy tissues ke hawaale uh, se. So the uracil was necessary for sustaining nucleic acid synthesis required for tumor growth. This this led to the hypothesis that if a pyrimidine analog could be synthesized with physiochemical properties similar to uracil, it might interfere with the nucleic acid synthesis and slow tumor growth. In attempting to design a uracil analog that would interfere with tumor cell growth, consideration was given to fluorine. Earlier, of fluorine ko kyun di gai is liye? के कुछ स्टडीज में पहले ही जो है वो हाइड्रोजन को फ्लोरीन के साथ सब्स्टिट्यूट किया गया था जो कि रिलेटिवली नॉन टॉक्सिक होता है ठीक है इसी वजह से ये फ्लोरीन यूज किया गया उसके अलावा एक और रीजन ये था कि जो वैंडल वर वॉल रेडियस जो था फ्लोरीन एटम का वो सिमिलर था एज दैट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन Iski wajah se kya hua ke thus minimizing alteration of the molecular conformation, molecular conformation takriban wohi rahi jo thi uski and increasing the likelihood that such a molecule could be metabolized by the same enzyme that metabolized uracil. This is 5-fluorouracil, then thymine and uracil. So, thodi si iski cellular pharmacology uh, Unmetabolized 5-fluorouracil is essential, harmless to mammalian host and tumor cells upon administration. The drug is, sub uh, is subject to one of two opposing metabolite metabolic fates. Inactivation and elimination are accomplished by avid catabolism. 5-fluorouracil is anabolism or catabolism ye dono side by side chal rahe hote hain jiski bina pe jo hai na ye um, kaam kar raha uh, kaam kar raha hota hai theek hai anabolism aur catabolism saath saath chal rahe hote hain jiski bina